Sean. At another lake here on the 2010 Canada trip. Got a nice eye. Went to a lake just above the other one we've been fishing. And this is another real nice one. It looks like it might even be a blue walleye. It's got some real nice coloration. Just hooked him. Real nice fish. We're smoking them today. We're uh, at this lake, like I said, just above the other one we were fishing yesterday. Nice eye. Got some good blue coloration on them. Real blue if you can see that. We're fishing out of an 80 foot hole right here. Up comes up to 8 foot and they're just stacked in here. And we've been fishing all over. Fish some uh, other humps. Smoked them everywhere we fished. This is probably even better than yesterday. We caught another 50 walleye. But we're just uh, having a great day. Chad put us on this one. He's got the boat here. All you gotta do is just drive down a little two track and come right into here and you can't go wrong. There's another one. Not too big. We're getting some small ones mixed in this area but walleye on every cast isn't too bad. Caught some blue walleye today. I think that might be one right there. A baby blue walleye. They uh, a little bit gray and then got that blue tint on them. But this place is just loaded with walleye. Just using a 3 8 ounce chartreuse jig head with the chartreuse Mr. Twister on there. And there's another one. I mean, it's just it's just on fire. And uh, just we just stumbled into this spot. I mean, we were just driving around looking. They're going to fish that beaver dam there for pike. We happened to come around the corner and see this 8 foot hump by these weeds. And uh, fish were on it. We just started nailing them. Just tipping this with a chub minnow. If I can get them. But the wind's calmed down. We had some rain come through today. It's been quite the rainy day. It's even sprinkling now. Made the trail a little bit muddy coming in. That doesn't matter. The fish are the wall I've been biting all day. There's one already. I didn't even get to sink down. They're just all over it. They're smoking it. Oh. He's just chasing it. Must be a small one. One of those little ones chasing it. There's one. Yep, there's he's a chaser four in a row. This is a uh, pretty pretty fun. Nice and easy. Got that jig in there pretty good. But perfect spot man. The days turn out to be really calm. Giving us a chance to fish the spots we want. Just going simple with the jig head. And over there, too far to see, but off that point, we set a couple buoys out. We were on a hump, and we were smoking them over there too. But we uh, it came off that hump, it was a little bit too windy, and now it's calmed down, so we're getting them anywhere. But put a couple buoys out to see where you you want to stop and where you want to start and where your structure and that is but in here you don't need it so close but this is just so easy so fun There's another one what's this five in a row maybe I mean we're just smoking it's a little better size nice nice bringing them in on this Shimano Claris rod man I love this rod there's another eye. Can't beat that. Oh man. And we got a uh, few on the stringer there. Eight on the stringer. We're gonna have a shore lunch. There's a nice blue tent to them. Fish we got on the stringer. We're gonna have a shore lunch. So give us one more cast, and we'll go up for another drift. Just fishing off this weed bed, you can see we got lily pads and all that. And I imagine the bait fish are coming out of here in the walleye, just waiting right outside the the weeds for the bait fish. And the walleyes are eating some big. Uh, I think they're herring. We saw one puke one up already. Oh, I had a bite. I don't think he'll. I don't know if he's gonna chase it. Oh yeah, six in a row. Not gonna break the streak. 
not too big, but every cast of walleye, you can't complain about that, no matter what the size is. Hopefully we find some bigger ones there, but we'll get this guy off, head up for another drift, get some more video. For the next drift, same area, right off the weeds. As soon as it hit the water, I already had a bite. But a little info about how we got here and we got all this going. We're staying at Pasture Lake Cabins. Owner's Chad Thompson. He's kind of like our guide. He sets you up with a boat, motor, trailer, bait, anything you need. And they got the nice set of cabins at Pasture Lake right on the lake, right on the water. They're real nice. He just sets you up good. I mean, you get bait, anything you need from the kettle on there. But, yep, besides the, uh, the cabins and that, they've got a sauna. they got a hot tub. And they uh, got a gazebo, all kind of little, a lodge, all kinds of stuff to do besides the fishing, which is kind of nice. Take advantage of the sauna every day. That one bit my tail off. It's pretty hungry. And the lake nearby our pasture has blakers, lake trout, it's got pike, it's got perch in it. We do some fishing there. You can come out here where he's already got the boats out here. And catch some out here and do a little adventuring. But they're kind of on the point of this weed bed. The weed bed kind of comes out to a point. That's why I'm casting back here behind you. It's catching them back there too. Probably a little bit nice size, not too small. Yeah, you're just in the weeds. Pretty small. Knit my tail off. But we'll just go up for another drift. Just the third drift, next drift, same spot. Just casting up in the same area. Just hoping I get a little bigger size this time. But still feeling like I got some little nibblers on there. There's a Wally. You got some shoulders on them. They fight pretty good. So today we're gonna get our shore lunch in. It's gonna be pretty fun. Got the perfect spot, man. Today has been a great day. Had a good week already, except for one day where we had a little difficulty in the road. But we do a good job up here and we take advantage. We decided to pull up on shore here. We made a shore lunch. We've already we uh, pulled up where someone else had been before. As you can see, I left a grill hanging in the tree, and we got some French fries, some walleye with a little touch of fresh Canadian blueberries picked straight off of the the vine there. And uh, we cleaned up some fish right off the rock here. Pulled up the boat, not too far from our good fishing spot. We just pulled up here, had the shore lunch, ate some blueberries, and uh, real good. Food was good. As you can see up north there, there's a storm rolling in, so I think we're about ready to head out. It's getting late anyway. Every time we come to this lake, it rains, but we came up here to Pasha Lake Cabins. About ready to head back there, get in the sauna, maybe go fish out in Pasha Lake for some lake trout. But... Just look up uh, PashaLake.com, get on uh, Chad and Michelle Thompson's website there, and look yourself up some great Canadian fishing, and we'll see you on the next trip.